Here's a fun story for today. This was not what my original video was going to be for this week. So basically, after school one day, I went to record some footage and experimental of this aforementioned video, and, um... Dude, what are you doing? You are playing like your life is on the line. Seriously though, look at him go. His movement's perfect. He's doing combos, strings, reads. Nothing can stop him. He's on top of the world. He's on fire. And it's because of that round that I'm making today's video. Why experimental is not the casual mode of 1v1s. Now before I begin, I'm sure I already have someone saying down below, Wait a second, experimental isn't casual, no one's saying that, it isn't called that. Um, shut up, I know more than you, I'm di- I- I- uh, I was diamond. But yeah, fair enough. Experimental is not called casual, it's called experimental. However, it has been regarded as the casual mode for 1v1s for a long time, considering it's the only 1v1 game mode out there besides ranked. Besides, if you're trying to warm up for ranked, what game mode do you go to? It's either training or experimental, and usually it's the latter. But I'm sure you might be thinking, why does it matter if it's called casual experimental? It serves the same purpose. Well, not exactly, and that's the argument I'm making today. The first reason why experimental isn't casual is because of the players. Look, I'm sure I don't have to say it, some of the people, actually a lot of the people, playing experimental are sweaty. The footage I'm using in the background of this video is the three games of experimental I played after I fought the Lucian. And yeah, they're all sweats. And no, I didn't just edit these together, these are truly back to back to back sweats. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I'd say I'm a pretty good player. But here I am complaining about it. Imagine what the average gold or silver player thinks when they queue up into experimental and they fight someone like this. Dude, get off of me! Okay, yeah, that's me, but that's besides the point. If I'm playing warm-up games for ranked, then yes, I do want to play the best players I can so that way I'm best prepared for ranked. But that's not always the case. Sometimes I'm just trying to play a casual game of 1v1 with random people. But as you might have guessed, it's not too fun or relaxing to be fighting for your life in experimental against these people. The second reason why experimental is not casual is because it literally has a ranking system that you can't see. That's right, guys. Go ahead and call it ELO gate, because there's a hidden ELO system inside of experimental that no one is told about. Now, in all fairness, this ELO system is not very accurate, since every once in a while I'm still put against some... uh... appalling players. Wait, why are they putting terrible and awesome together like this? What in the world? Despite the occasional inaccuracy of this system, it still works. As time has gone on, I've noticed that I've played harder and harder players. In fact, nowadays, I fight more diamonds at experimental than I ever have. And in case you haven't noticed, diamonds aren't exactly easy to fight. So if you're looking for an easy, relaxing fight, well, you're not finding it here. The last reason that experimental isn't casual is because of the name itself. Experimental. Don't misunderstand me, I'm not talking about the title itself, but rather what that entails. For those that don't know, the game mode is called Experimental because it uses experimental test features that you can only use in that game mode. Usually these test features are not too impactful on gameplay, for example when Gravity Cancel's got their own art rework. But for the past month or so, that hasn't been the case. You see, on December 15th of 2020, a dodge rework was added to the experimental features. It changed a lot about the game and broke two weapons in particular. I made an entire video on it if you want to watch it in the top right corner. But despite being over a month old at this point, those features are still in experimental queues. So let's say I'm trying to play a game mode that doesn't have the experimental features, but also isn't ranked. Well, let's see what other options I have. Alright, first mode, we got a uh, free for all. Apparently it's recommended. That's right guys, Brahalla recommends free-for-all for diamond players like me. Thank you Brahalla, very nice. Oh boy, these guys all look like competent players. Alright guys, here we go. This is turning out about how I thought it would be. Well, that was... Um... Okay, free-for-all might not have been too good, but... Strikeout 1v1, now that sounds fun. 
Right off the bat, I'm recommending this game mode to anyone that suffers from indecisiveness, because you can pick three legends and not just one. Hey look, it's a fellow scythe-only player. You know, I was gonna take this part like a joke, but this might actually be fun. Alright, here we go. And yeah, that's more like it. Alright, we only have one more game mode that isn't experimental in the casual queues. Let's hope this one's good. Uh-oh, actually good players, maybe? Nope, never mind. This Bodvar just gave up. He saw our skill and it was too much for him. Oh, no, 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 he's back. Wow, that was actually fun. That was a fun game. One minor problem, though. It's not 1v1. Oh boy, wasn't that fun. So yeah, as you can see, there's no clean 1v1 game mode besides experimental and ranked. I'm sure I'm not the first to realize this, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way about this topic. But fear not, BMG, because I have a solution for you. Yep, that's right, I'm giving this idea for free. No hidden fees, no need to thank me. I mean, you could make me a partner creator. Alright, you ready for this? This is the idea of a century. Just make a casual game mode. And when I say casual, I mean casual. No hidden elo, no extra features, just plain 1v1 that has a random chance of playing anyone at any given time. Yes, I'm aware there will still be some sweats in casual, but that's how it is in all games. Of course, you can advertise this casual mode as a recommended for new players, kind of like how you do with the free-for-all mode. And then you can just keep experimental the same. You can still have the test features, people that want to play it can play experimental, and those that don't have another option for vanilla 1v1. Well, that's it. This is usually the part of the video where I start complaining about acts right before cutting way to the end, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Instead, I'm complaining about Lance. Why would you guys buff it? Come on, guys, the side light dare thing is true now. True. Well, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. Today is my birthday, so if you want to make it a good one, why don't you like and subscribe? Yeah, that ought to get the clicks. Anyways, I'm out of here.